FloridaHSFootball.com here at the 2017 Ocala High School Football Media Days. Guy, Coach Willie Offord of the North Marion Colts and along with Trey Davis. Trey, uh, real quick, what is your position? Inside linebacker. Inside linebacker. All right. Well, Coach, I appreciate you guys coming by and stopping by here at Media Day. Um, kind of just uh, give us a little insight of what we should expect from the North Marion Colts after, uh, you know, winning another district championship last season. Yeah, uh, that, that was great at the time. Uh, this season we'll be very young. Uh, we'll be very sophomore and junior heavy. Um, we're going to be a young team with big dreams. Young team with big dreams. And when, when, now, kind of just give us a little insight. With, when, when you say young team big, with big dreams, you know, I mean, kind of give us an insight with some of your players, you know, who are, are you going to be expecting to step up considering that, you know, when you say that, you, that's usually when you say that, you, you've lost a lot of seniors in the prep from the last season. Yeah, we've lost a lot of seniors. Uh, we, be truthful, we have three returning starters from the whole team last year. And uh, our kids are just – chipping ready to go you know we've been working hard that everyone's ready to go uh obviously trey davis here is one of our leaders uh, he'll be a junior mm -hmm. uh, and then our, our safety Kieran kinsler is definitely the uh, unquestionable leader of our, of our team and, and let, let's talk to trey a little bit i mean what, what i mean considering that you know the the, pro, the team is going to be young this year what are your expectations to help this team grow into being a mature team being able to compete Again, for another district championship, which has been a North Marion tradition for the last two decades, winning district championships and that kind of thing. So what, what are your expectations in keeping that standard? Just being a, a very vocal leader, leader on the team. Just being close with the guys and making sure they're working hard in the weight room, on the field, just doing what we got to do mm -hmm. to get back to the district championship this year. And coach, you know, it's, it's a district, it's still District 5A6. It's still the same three teams. You know, you, you, North Marion – Eastside and Bellevue, you know, and Bellevue was a very competitive team last year, and, and, and Eastside is working their way back up. So, I mean, I mean, when, when it came down to with the scheduling, you know, considering that you only have two, you only had two guaranteed games, the, this, this new point system with the changes that you know, it's you know, only one team's guaranteed out of the district now. I mean, what was your initial thoughts dealing with this, and you know, considering that you know you've been a head coach in other places around the state here? Yeah, when you're putting a schedule together, my philosophy is, is you always want to be competitive. You always want to play, you know, teams that are, that are going to give you uh, good competition. Uh, we don't want to try to schedule a uh, put a schedule together with teams that we should win against year in and year out. We want to give someone that's going to play us that's going to give us a challenge. Right. And this year was no different, even with the playoff system, the point system, the way it's set up. I think uh, – this year we've got more local area schools on the, back on our schedule with Danellan and South Sumter. Um, we still have Trinity Christian in the preseason, but we've got Trinity Catholic back on the schedule. So, you know, I and they're all playoff teams. They're all they're playoff mean. teams. They're all traditionally pretty good. That South Sumter team, year in and year out, they are competitive. Um, we're just excited about it. Danellan is one of the better programs in the county. And they're you, on our schedule. But you didn't find it very hard to schedule getting the other eight games onto that schedule outside of the two district games, considering that you know some, te some teams were shying away from playing really good teams like, well, now I don't have to play. I'm not going to play you. Yeah, um, I was very proactive starting and getting a chance to do it earlier this, this off season, um, And I'm, I'm thankful for the guys that, you know, agreed to play us from the area because – we need to have good football in this area, stay in this area. We don't want to continue to keep going to south or, or north, you know, trying to find football games. We've got plenty of good competition in Marion County. And Marion County has been a hotbed for football for years. Yeah. <laughs> and, in North, and North Marion has been one of those stuff. I mean, I guess, I guess at the end of the day it's just a matter of just, just focusing each week, right? That's right. Um, if you're looking at it from the outside, we've got two district games. The rest of our games are exhibitions, so to speak, you know, um, but we, we're going to get geared up week in and week out to put our best foot forward with a young football team and let everything fall away, you know, hopefully in our favor. Well, hey, I wish the North American Colts the best of luck this season. I know it's going to be – you're going to have some challenges, but, hey, if, they, if there was an adversity, then you wouldn't be playing football, <laughs> exactly. I don't think, right? Exactly. And adversity is always something with football, sure. and I didn't think. But I appreciate you guys stopping by here at Media Day. Yes, best sir. of luck this season. Appreciate Thank it you, very much.